Amen, amen, amen. God's goodness is running after us. Hallelujah. Because God is so good and he's good all the time. Good, glorious, blessed morning to each and every one of you all. We're so humbly grateful that you have taken time out of your busy Saturday morning to join in with us as we come to you live from an undisclosed location on this morning. And we're so happy for your due diligence to do likewise as we are striving to make sure that we're consistent as much as we can be to this undertaking of providing Sunday school on the go, providing Sunday school virtually. Of course, we bring you greetings on behalf of the Main Baptist Church, but we hold true to a mission of just spreading God's love. That is, we love the Lord, we love each other, and we love the lost. We are growing and flowing in love, and we are a church that is Christ-centered, Bible-based, and family-focused. And we hope that you all are feeling the love as we so authentically try to exhibit it beyond the four walls of the Main Baptist Church, um, in our homes, in our communities, on our jobs, wherever we are. We want to make sure that that love is illuminated across the spectrum. We don't want to just talk the talk. We want to make sure we are walking the walk. Even through difficult times, dealing with difficult people, we still want to be about letting our light shine so that men will see our good works and want to glorify the Father which is in heaven. So on tonight, I mean on this morning, <laughs> On this morning, our Sunday school Saturday, our Sunday Saturday school will be coming out of Galatians, the fifth chapter. We're going to cover verses 13 through 26 for those that may not have a Sunday school book. book. Again, Galatians, the fifth chapter, verses 13 through 26. And our topic for today is inner struggles. Inner struggles. And for the sake of opening up, we're going to Zero in on the key verse of the day. And of course, that's Galatians, the fifth chapter, the 13th verse. And it reads, for brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, hmm. but by love serve one another. Again, that's Galatians, the fifth chapter, verse 13. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, the hearing, and the doing of his holy word. And again, today's title is Inner Struggles. Inner Struggles. But before we dive into the lesson, we're going to ask that the pastor opens up with prayer. Hallelujah. Let us pray. God, our Father, we come today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the present power Thank of your you, Holy Jesus. Spirit coming in your presence, God. Give me Thank praise, yes. glory, and in honor. Hallelujah. God, we love you because yes, you God. first love, love us. On. We thank you, God. We thank you for this day, yes. God. Thank you, dear God, that you have bred in us the breath of our You realize and recognize that is in you we live, move, and, and have all of our being. God, yes. thank you for giving us the resources for everything that we need that is pertaining to life and God. And this God, we thank you for this time yes, and yes. for this very precious Hallelujah. moment that God, as we come, Lord God, to rightly divide the word of truth. Hallelujah. And God, as we come today, God, yes. we pray even now that we would decrease and that you would increase. Speak to us and through us and for us. Anoint us, yes, us Lord God, you, that Jesus. as we teach and as we speak, we will do it in the oracles of God. As we minister, we pray that we will do it in the ability that you and you alone is glorified. God, we pray in the name of Jesus that you would anoint every ear, every heart, and every mind, every ears Hallelujah. or attentive, yes. every heart, Lord yes, God, receptive. is receptive yes. and every mind is alert. We come up against anything that's not like you. We yes. bind it up in yes. the name of yes. Jesus. Now, God, we pray as we lift up this word, we pray that we will send it, Hallelujah, that it will be sent Jesus. forward, yes. that you promise to hasten it, to watch over it, Lord God, that it will find good ground, good oh, soil, yeah. that it will produce a harvest 30, 60, and 100 fold. And God, we are mindful to give you all the praise and all the glory in the honor. We ask it all in the name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. 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 Again, on today, our topic is inner struggles. I currently have the system on mute, so as to cut down on any background interference, but of course, we're going to be open to volunteer readers, so if you desire to read, you can unmute, unmute yourself. In some cases, you may have to do star six, 
But I'm going to get things started uh, before we really dive in. The pastor, as he oftentimes does, give us kind of like a little intro. Intro. So intro. as to put us to where we need to be. So praise the Lord. This is uh, the Apostle Paul uh, uh, writing to yes. the believers that are in Galatia, in Galatia uh, around A.D. Uh, 50 uh, and 60. Uh, he's writing uh, at this particular time uh, to the believers who had accepted Christ, yes. who had re who received justification mm -hmm. by faith. Mm -hmm. But now those have came in, false teachers came in and began to get them to go to reversion back to Judaism, mm -hmm. that it, the only way they can be saved or Christian, they have to, they have to do some sort of work of course and Paul now combat this this false teaching and of course he defend his uh, apostolic uh, uh, authority mm -hmm. as an apostle uh in this particular area he's he's given um instruction and warning and exhortation from mm -hmm. the fifth chapter all the way to the uh sixth chapter and in today's lesson uh we're going to be dealing with uh, uh, uh inner struggle and one of the things that we got to know that uh when we are dealing with struggle mm -hmm. uh within the church when nah. we're dealing with struggle within the church always know that that struggle come uh from individual yeah and one of the things that we have to mm. do as believer is take ownership that the real struggle mm -hmm. is not nothing on the outside, yeah. but the struggle is on the inside mm -hmm. personally. Yeah. Because in the and, and the fact that we have been born again, we're saved. We still have uh, uh, we still we still dealing with our flesh, yeah. the flesh <laughs> and the spirit. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to look at how it is that we can we can make a choice on whether or not we're going to to win the struggles mm -hmm. that we are dealing with, or we're going to allow the struggle to continue to 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 have dominion over mm. us and even though we're saved but yet we're struggling still, yeah. and some of the things that we're going to deal with the work of the flesh mm. of course and not work of the spirit uh we're going to identify some of those things and some of the struggles that we're dealing with mm -hmm. so that we can understand how it is that we can win three areas we're going to talk about today the power of love mm -hmm. the power of the flesh yeah. and the power, power of the spirit. spirit and so love is the thing that that is going to be the thing that how we win mm -hmm. is our love to do the things of my flesh yeah. or do I love to do uh -oh. the thing Come of my spirit and so that's our lesson uh plan today amen amen so again our topic title is in our struggles it's broken down into into three different uh sections our first section the power of love that's going to cover Galatians the fifth chapter verses 13 to 15 I'm going to get things started but thereafter we welcome any volunteer readers on this morning. So again, Galatians, the fifth chapter, verses 13 through 15, and it reads, For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, Thou shall love thy neighbor as thyself. But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. The power of love. So, so I want y'all to look at the scripture very mm -hmm. clearly. Paul says, brother, now he's talking to the Christians, he's yeah. talking to the believers. We have been called into liberty. Yeah. We have been called into freedom and liberty. Mm. Where the spirit of God is, there's, there's liberty. liberty. Once we were born again, regenerated, yes. the spirit of God brought us into liberty. Now we have a choice. Use not your liberty mm -hmm. to serve your flesh. Come but on. he says, what I need you to do is when we have been called into liberty mm -hmm. because of the love of God and the love of God is shed in our heart by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. He says, what I need you to do in this setting is by love serve one another. Mm -hmm. So the way we are conquering some of the, 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 the inner struggle, even within the church, mm -hmm. he says, we have to have a spirit of love yes. for all the law is fulfilled in one, th in one word. Thou shall love thy neighbor as thyself. So when now I what I should focus on, I'm loving Renee. She's my neighbor. She's yeah. my wife, of course, yeah. but that's my neighbor. I'm loving her as I love myself. Mm -hmm. So when I begin to start uh, uh, verse number 15, look at it. But if you bite and devour one another, take heed, you're consuming one another. So now we have cannibalism mm. within our own self. Oh my God. I'm biting Ooh. my own self and yeah. ultimately I'm destroying myself. Mm -hmm. And you know, every Sunday, mm -hmm. every Sunday after church, there are cannibalism. My we God. leave out of church <laughs> and folks are biting up, frying the pastor. Mm -hmm. We Instead of us going to get fried chicken, we're frying about the pastor, talking mm -hmm. about what the pastor ain't did, mm -hmm. what the pastor ain't say. 
what that call is, you're mm -hmm. biting and devouring, and My ultimately, God. you're going to be consumed. You, am I saying this? You, you, you consume it. You and so it. that's not the power of love. Mm -hmm. And that's the inner struggle that we, mm -hmm. you got to know that. Guess what? We are many members, but one body. Yeah. In order for this body to function good, mm -hmm. I don't need to be biting my hand off. Come on. I need to serve mm -hmm. one another. And guess what? If you're going to mutilate yourself, <laughs> nobody else, have, they don't have a fighting chance. Praise the Lord. We don't have a fighting chance if we're doing damage to ourselves. But for the most part, we love ourselves. Mm -hmm. We're going to do self-care. We're going to, you know, love on ourselves. So when you do that to yourself, you want then to also carry that out to others. Praise the Lord. So can we Having be... that servant's heart, having that loving kindness heart, even to difficult people. And so that's what we want you to know, that as Christians, we are brothers and mm -hmm. sisters. We are loving each other. Yeah, so irregardless, irregardless, mm -hmm. you are, when I bite you up, when I'm mm -hmm. destroying you, mm -hmm. literally what happened? Mm -hmm. I'm consuming you. And mm -hmm. so now all of a sudden, what's going to happen? Mm -hmm. So we have to get to the place, understand the power of love. Mm -hmm. That's why Paul writes in, in, in Corinthians, mm -hmm. because there were issues in Corinthians 13 chapter. Paul says, you know, he talked about the gifting and all the things that we have, but mm -hmm. he said, if you don't have love, you don't have nothing. Mm. You know, you can give your body to be burned. You can give your, as a philanderer, you can give all the money you want. He says, you can do all of this if you ain't got love. You ain't got nothing. Love, love, bear it all things, believe all things, hope all things. He said, love will never fail. Prophecy and all that gonna fail. Tongue gonna see. Mm -hmm. Now it's gonna vanish away. But love will never fail. Now mm. I'm hope, faith, and love. These three and I don't care, Muhammad Ali said he's the greatest, but love. Love That's is the greatest. Of love. So when we walk in love, yeah. we're walking mm -hmm. in victory. Amen. And just think, if we all adapt that mindset, mm. if that's just a mindset <laughs> that we hold true to no matter where we're at, not just in the church house, in our homes, in our communities, mm. on our job. Just imagine. Look, like we oftentimes say, we may not always get it right. We may not always meet the mark. But if we're professing to be Christians, we can do all things through Christ says. Come on, give us. us huh? mm. God allow us to do the supernatural things that anybody else is, is hard for them to do because we can only do it through the strength of the Lord. If we're being, here goes that word, intentional. Mm -hmm. We have to make an intentional effort every second, every minute, every hour of the day to represent God in love. Mm -hmm. That means crucifying flesh. We know things rise up. <laughs> oh, you know, somebody get on our last nerve. Our first act may be to want to, you know, a uh, uh, snap back. What they go? Clap back. That's what they go. The kids go clap back. But that's when we allow the Holy Spirit to come in and take hold and, and bridle our tongue or bridle our reaction. Not be reactionary, but really think it through first. Be slow. Be quick to what hear, but slow to speak. Because whatever response we may want to have, we want to show the love of God. Hallelujah. And so what happens, Sister Brown, we're going to, in that next point, mm. of course, it's going to be where the choices are going to be. At. <laughs> yeah. Of course, and, and, and as you're going into that, talking about the natural, uh, the natural versus the mm -hmm. supernatural. Mm -hmm. We can't walk in the supernatural mm. unless we get rid of the natural. Come on. And so what happened, the spirit of God now, uh, he does a, a pruning. Mm -hmm. And so Come when on. we clip, begin to clip. start doing, when we start mm -hmm. looking at the work of the flesh, then it, it's bringing it out so that mm -hmm. we can begin to start doing the pruning mm -hmm. so we can walk in the love that God has yes. given us and begin to demonstrate and demonstrate and illustrate mm -hmm. and manifest the fruits of the spirit. And that's where we are going now. Amen. So that takes us. So we've dealt with the power of love. Now we're going to pivot to the second section, the power of the flesh. Come on now. That's covering Galatians, the fifth chapter, verses 16 to 21. Any volunteer readers may unmute themselves at this time. Galatians, the fifth chapter, verses 16 through 21. Going once, going twice. I'll, I'll go. Thank you, Sister Patience. Patience, okay. Uh, you said verse um, uh, 16, 14 or 15? 15, 15? 16 through 21. 16 through 21. Um, this I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Mm. For the flesh lusteth, lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if be, if, but if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. 
-hmm. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which is which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, um, whoa, Love lack it. of viciousness. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen this word before. I'm sorry. Idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, um, sedititions, heiresses, envy. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Envying, murders, drunkenness, reveling, and such like of the of the of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in the time in time past, that they which of which do things uh, such things shall not be shall not inherit the kingdom of God. I'm no. so sorry. That's so, okay. so 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 the power of the flesh. So talk about the power of the flesh. Of the flesh. Look how much the power, how my much the God, power the flesh God. has. That, uh, <laughs> that, that the flesh has so much power that, we get a crucifix that crucifix. it will tell you to the point that if you do them. Mm -hmm. Now, listen, mm -hmm. it's, it didn't say if I sin and I fall short mm -hmm. uh, of it. And of course, uh, uh, I'm not giving you a license to sin, commit adultery, so on and so forth. But he said, if you do them, if you constantly do them, it's no way you can inherit God's kingdom. Mm. And God's kingdom is the dominion, the authority, and the come power, on, of course, to bring about change. And that change, first of all, start with us, uh, and it works on the outside. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. Paul says, he come back and he says, but, which is uh, uh, it, things that, uh, that is, it, it, things that change. In verse mm -hmm. 16, he says, mm -hmm. then I say, walk in the spirit. He tell us, he tell us what to do. He says, he tell us to walk in the spirit, uh, and we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Mm -hmm. He tell us, he tell us why mm -hmm. we ought to do it. Mm -hmm. He says, walk in the spirit so that you will not fulfill the, the, the lust of the flesh. Mm -hmm. So, of course, and he come back and he tell us, here's the work of the flesh. He said, well, well he said, the, the, the reason why, here it is, the flesh war against the spirit and the spirit wars against the flesh. Mm -hmm. These two are contrary one to another mm -hmm. so that they cannot do the things that they that they would remember Paul struggle. Paul said, Lord, I try to, you know, I want to do the right thing, but, evil. but every time I try to do the right thing, evil uh, uh, is, is on, on every, every side. Mm -hmm. He's seen the struggle, but Paul says, oh, wicked man that I am, I thank God through Christ Jesus that I found victory. And he says right there in verse 18, but if you be led by the spirit of God, mm -hmm. you will not be under the law. You will not, the law cannot dictate to you to try to do things because when you try to do it in your own flesh, you can't do it. Mm -hmm. So in verse 19, he said, these are the work of the flesh. There are 17 particular areas of, of, of the work of the flesh. And so these are the areas where mm -hmm. the pruner began to say, wait a minute, this stuff needs to be cut off. Mm -hmm. He said, the work of the flesh, adultery, y'all know what adultery is. Mm -hmm. You're having a relationship, you're married, and you're having a relationship outside of your marriage. Mm -hmm. He said, these are the work of the flesh. Fornicator, mm -hmm. you're not married, but you're, having, you're, you're in, a, in a still. Unclean is just down, just downright nasty. <laughs> I can do it the right way, sister. Yeah, go ahead, man. Lusciviousness, uh, sister patient. That that's that's literally you don't have no conscience, no uh, mm -hmm. about it, uh, no uh, just scruples. unbridled. Uh, uh, let's just go and add it. That's sexual sin, and then adultery. Y'all know what that is. Uh, to worship uh, uh, to worship other god mm -hmm. witchcraft mm -hmm. that's that's the same thing as pharmaceutical mm -hmm. or even drug is evil evil spell hatred y'all know god, uh, uh, what hatred is mm -hmm. when you run around hating other people mm -hmm. you're just hating people just to hate no people reason. that's not, not god reason. that's the work of the flesh variance oh that's strife mm -hmm. when, when when you have been let me it's make sure constant. i put it mm -hmm. when you have a variance with somebody mm -hmm. that's just being different and disagreement mm -hmm. and quarreling you know, and it's all right to disagree. Mm -hmm. It's all right to disagree. It's always uh, about uh, disagree, mm -hmm. but at the same time, let's come to an agreement mm -hmm. to say whatever is going to be best. Mm -hmm. And so that's what that uh, uh that's what that's what variance is. I have a variance against mm -hmm. emulation. Mm -hmm. That's a that's to try to suppress a person mm -hmm. achievement. Yeah, you're trying to you're trying to just downright, and that's all coming with the hatred and all that mm -hmm. rap. Y'all know that's that's unbridled anger. Mm -hmm. Strife mm -hmm. that's causing uh, 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 division, mm -hmm. sedition. Mm -hmm. That's a conduct, a uh, 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 speech, a uh, 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 inciting rebel. Mm -hmm. Y'all seen that? What happened in New York? Yeah. They said they were giving out games and all that, and this stuff that this incited a, re a rebel, mm -hmm. a, 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 a rivalry that was going on, mm -hmm. and that's the kind of stuff that uh, we see that happened during uh, January sixth, yeah. insurrection, mm -hmm. uh, uh, say hearsay. 
in the hearsay. Did I put that in there? Uh, I don't think I, I, I put that in there. But look at look at those words. It's so important. There are 17 of them uh, for you to go. You know what envy is. I don't have to tell you what envy mm -hmm. is. Desiring to want something uh, somebody, somebody else, else had. Yeah. And now you're in so the, envy it, yeah. and jealous of them mm -hmm. that it caused you to murder. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to kill people with a gun, but you can kill people with your mouth. Death yeah. and life is in the power, power of the tongue. tongue. Hallelujah. Drunkenness. Mm -hmm. Be not drunk with wine, where it's an excess, mm -hmm. but be filled with the Holy Spirit. Raveling, it, 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 he's again going back and saying when we call him right and all this mm -hmm. other stuff. He says, such again, I tell you now in pad, they who do these things cannot and shall not inherit the, the kingdom, kingdom of God. God. That's the work of the flesh. And I'm telling you, that's how much power that that flesh uh, uh, will have on us when I do these things, when I'm doing them, constantly in them. Mm -hmm then I'm allow it to make me miss out on God's mm -hmm. kingdom. That's how much power the flesh has. And we're so influenced by so many things this time in, in age. Social media, the, the, the reality shows where you're constantly seeing just women against each other, tearing each other down, calling each other out of name, getting into fist fight. You're on social media at our fingertips. Not, not only to our adults, but to our kids. Our kids are seeing so much and it being exposed to so much that it becomes normalized. It becomes a normalized behavior that if we don't watch it, that's how Satan is creeping in to, 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 to devour, to take hold, to, 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 to cause them to go wayward in their Christian walk. Mm -hmm. Because what? It becomes a normalizing, normalizing of bad behavior that they become confused about what's right and what's wrong. Mm -hmm. And why, why is they're confused? Because they're not being exposed to the things of God. They're not being exposed to the word of God that's <laughs> telling them right from wrong. Mm -hmm. And when they don't know better, guess what? You can't expect them to do better. Amen. If you're not teaching them and showing them better, not just through our words, but through our actions. So, so one of the things I tell you, uh, Sister Brown, and it's so imperative that we understand that going to church, you mm -hmm. can please God. Going mm -hmm. to church, the enemy don't mm -hmm. mind you. What I don't want you to do is to get exposed mm -hmm. to truth. That's of true. course, one of the words we just said, uh, mm -hmm. heresy, uh, that's a belief or an opinion contrary mm -hmm. to to, uh, uh, to 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 religion that is Christianity mm -hmm. is an orthodox or whatever. Uh, uh, blasphemy. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. Blasphemy. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, and you know, the Bible tells us about blasphemy in the Holy mm -hmm. Ghost. Uh, 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 that's one that's sin that cannot even be forgiven. And so I when know. the flesh begins to start operating in these areas of these 17 areas, mm -hmm. go read them, understand them, read them mm -hmm. to yourself. And if there's a thing that you see that you're doing, yeah. then that Holy yeah. Spirit is doing the Let work. He's literally pruning. To want to change, because believe it or not, that, right. that, that as, as we're planting seed mm -hmm. and as we're teaching the word of God and the spirit of God, you have been born again, mm -hmm. that struggle come. Jacob and uh, Jacob problem never was Esau. Mm -hmm. Jacob's problem always was, was Jacob. Yeah, it was on, Jacob. Uh, and until Jacob had that struggle with mm -hmm. God that night, he came to the struggle and he said, listen, I can't let go unless you bless me. Come on. He said, okay, you want the blessing. Yes. But what's your name? Mm -hmm. He he admit Come that on. I'm struggling. I'm mm -hmm. Jacob. I'm mm -hmm. a schemer. Mm -hmm. I'm a supplanter. Mm -hmm. God says you cannot ever get you to be in Israel, yeah. him him striving with you until you admit the Come struggle. If you don't admit your struggle, you don't think that you can be able to move to the fruit of the spirit. My God. Because you can't bear two fruits at the same one 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 plant can't bear the same fruit. Mm -hmm. Either you're gonna have the fruit of the spirit, Come on. or you're gonna have the fruit of the flesh. My God, and so my God. therefore, when the spirit of God is doing the work, yes. here it yes. is. Is what he's trying to produce in our lives. Mm -hmm. And this is what we go back to going now to the power of the spirit. Amen, amen, amen. So how it is, this is section three. This is our close out section, the power of the spirit. We've dealt with the power of love, the power of the flesh. Now we're going to dive into the power of the spirit and that's covering Galatians, the fifth chapter, verses 22 to 26. 22 to 26, any volunteer reader, you can unmute at this time. Going once. I'll go again. <laughs> Hopefully, I do better this time. I'm keeping my type. Orange. I'm sorry. <laughs> but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. 
against such there is no law and they and they that are Christ have crucified the flesh um, with the affections and lust if we will li- if we live in the spirit let us also walk in the spirit let us not be um desirous whoa i'm so sorry <laughs> desirous of vain glory provoking one another envying one another amen i'm so sorry Okay, so the now he's power of the spirit. The so now you're dealing spirit. with from the from the from the power of the uh, 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 of of the flesh mm-hmm. to the power because the power of the flesh will make us when we do it, uh-huh. it'll make us miss out on the kingdom of God. Oh God. But now he says, here's the fruit of the spirit. Mm-hmm. Remember, John says, if you abide in me and my word abide mm-hmm. in you. He, he's talking about abiding in a true vine. Uh, you shall bring forth more fruits yeah. and from more fruits to no fruits to more fruits mm-hmm. to much more fruit. Yeah. The, 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 the thing is, it's just abiding in him. How mm-hmm. do I abide in him? You abide in him by the spirit of God. Mm-hmm. He said, but the fruit of the spirit, the first three, look at them. The yeah. first three, love. This is how you remember: yeah. love, joy, and peace. Mm-hmm. That's 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 upward. Mm-hmm. That's God. Yeah. That's God. So the first three is love, joy, mm-hmm. and peace. That's mm-hmm. God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The second piece, the second three is long suffering, gentleness, and goodness. Who I'm being long suffering with? Mm. I'm being long suffering with others. others. Who I'm being gentle with? Others. And who I'm being good to? Others. So that's that's outward. Yeah. The first upward. Outward, outward, and then mm-hmm. the last street, meekness. Me, I mean, faith. Mm-hmm. The first thing you talk about faith, faith not only to believe, but mm-hmm. faith also to be faithful yeah. and being faithful to do. Mm-hmm. So that's inward, inward. that's self-work. Mm-hmm. Okay, he's dealing with self. Meekness is what? Meekness is having power, yeah. but having power under control, control. Yeah. to be saddle broken. Who uh, that dealing uh, with? That's dealing with yourself. yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then he talks about uh, temperance. Mm-hmm. Temperance simply means to be self-controlled. Come on. You're not talking to other to be self-controlled. Yeah. You're dealing with, you deal with yourself. yourself. Yeah. So the first three deals, they're upward, with they're God. God. Mm-hmm. The, uh, the second three, Love they're God outward, yeah. is yeah. others. Yeah. And then the next three mm-hmm. is self-inward. Mm-hmm. I have to deal with them. He said that, that uh, uh, they that are in Christ have crucified the flesh mm-hmm. with the affection and the lust thereof. Listen, we have to, and we have to die daily. Mm. I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, not I live. And so the more, the more I stay connected to Christ, the more Mm -hmm. I ought to be able to, ought to be able to manifest the fruit of the spirit. The love, the joy, the peace, the love. And so now I'm contacting with others. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm long suffering with you. Mm-hmm. I'm gentle and good. Mm-hmm. And even as my own self, when stuff come up, I'm yeah. going to be faithful yeah. because of my faith. Yeah. I'm going to have meekness. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to just get out of control. Yeah. I'm going to have self control. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I crucify the lesson of affection. Of, I live in the spirit. Mm-hmm. Let us also do what? So now you're living in the spirit. Let us walk. So what are you telling us to walk in? Love, walk in joy, mm-hmm. walk in peace. See Nehemiah, uh, when he was working, he gave up everything. He was in the he was in the he was in a pagan society and governmental official. He was in, but he left it all. Mm-hmm. And then he go to he go he goes to Jerusalem and build up the wall mm-hmm. and, and and the gates that were burned down. And man, they were they were they were talking about Nehemiah. Nehemiah just kept on working. He said, "The joy of the Lord, mm-hmm. the jo- joy comes from within." Mm-hmm. Joy of the Lord is my strength. And he said, let us not be desirous. Yes. Don't go after stuff that are vain, glory. Yeah, don't let. Don't provoke one another. What? Don't Tension. be envy one of another. Let us celebrate. Yeah, well, let us rejoice. Yes. Let us be grateful yes. for what God is doing mm-hmm. in individual life. Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, mm-hmm. we all have to stand before God. Come on. And we got to give an account of our mm-hmm. stewardship. God says, I want you to be faithful over what I've given you. Mm-hmm. And God give all of us a talent or a gift. And God has all given us all a spree to be able to operate in that situation. You may not be operating uh, in, in a level of this and that, but this yeah. ought to not be. And don't try to be nobody else. Yeah. Be Just yourself. be yourself mm-hmm. and make sure that you're in the land that you're God has placed self. you. Mm-hmm. Because it's one of the worst things that we can do is try to operate in areas that we're not even called. My God, my God. We become ineffective. And not mm-hmm. only we're ineffective, we hurt everybody we else. In the the block mm-hmm. to others. And that's it. You know, we have to be, and you know, we have to put things in perspective. All of this stuff that we be jealous and envious about about others, we got to mess on that temporary. Hmm. All of that stuff you get all bent out of shape about because this, that, and the other, and you 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 kind of lose your joy of just living 
because you're so busy trying to what, keep her, figuring you got to measure up. So somebody that don't, don't really care about you, and you got to know it's only temporal. But be your best version of yourself in every which way you can possibly be. We know at times, like I say, it's not always easy because when you're dealing with folks that can be difficult, sometimes it is hard to did turn that other cheek. I, you know, I, I'm going to be real. I'm going to be honest. It is sometimes a struggle, inner struggle, to turn the other cheek when you feel somebody has wronged you to the point of no return. But in God, in Christ, we can do all things. If that's your intention, you got to be intentional so, with it. That's not to say that, you know, you don't sell yourself out. You know, when it takes two. And if you've done all you can to what? To be that peacemaker, to make things right, to right or wrong. If you've wronged somebody, you, you make an attempt to right that wrong, to show that love, to show that forgiveness, to really exhibit the, uh, the fruit of the spirit. Well, you know, you 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 throw your your hands up, not in in hatred, and not in in vengefulness, but you you leave the ball in their court. So one of the things that we want to make sure that and uh, uh, um, in the evidence of our life, because oftentimes we got to know how the enemy works. Mm -hmm. The enemy has to work through people, yes. and uh, of course, you got to work through he things, through and he's working like, through through circumstances. Yeah. And so when those things do mm -hmm. arrive. Mm -hmm. We got to get ourselves out of the way. Yes, uh, if we're in Christ, we have to crucify it. our yes, flesh mm -hmm. so we don't fulfill the lust thereof and then walk in the what? In the spirit. spirit. So it's just a God. Realness. And so I got 17 areas. Yeah. I got 17 areas to measure mm -hmm. myself. Yeah. Wait a minute. Am I walking in the flesh yeah. or am I walking in, in the spirit? spirit. Mm -hmm. Guess what? The one that go, that the one that I love the most, mm -hmm. it's going to be the one that wins. Mm -hmm. That's the power of love. The power of love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Again, we hope you all have been blessed with such a poignant and rather the lesson about dealing with the inner struggles. Look, we all have inner struggles. But you can't heal what you don't reveal. Be honest about what those struggles are and then do the work to course correct. God gives us, every time he gives us new mercies every day, it's another chance to get it right. Hallelujah. Anybody want to have any uh, takeaways, want to express any takeaways about the lesson, you can do so at this time. The system is open for you to do so at this time. If there are any takeaway or a little quick summation about what what you got out of today's lesson, you can do so at this time. We hope each and every one of you all have been blessed with this lesson from Galatians. The power of love, the power of the spirit. Power of the flesh. And the power of the flesh. The power of the flesh and the power of the spirit. Yeah. Nobody? Anybody? Anybody? Y'all quiet on the Saturday. Yes. Nobody? Anybody? Everybody scream. Hallelujah. <laughs> well, if not, we're not going to force the issue. We hope that doesn't mean y'all haven't learned anything. So we hope, uh, and of course, we record these lessons so that we can then upload it to our YouTube um our YouTube channel so that if you desire to go back and listen or just share it with somebody else that you feel that will bless, you can do so as well. But we look forward to yet again, uh, being purposeful and intentional about living for Christ, being all in for God and serving him in the best way that we are, that he's given us the ability to do. No excuses. Hallelujah. And so one of the, my takeaway and clothing um, um, today is, of course, we talk about the inner struggle, the struggle within mm -hmm. uh, our members of the church because we are many members mm -hmm. in one body. And then personally, that own, that own inner struggle. Because when we are born again, oftentimes people think that once I give my life to Christ, mm -hmm. that uh, uh, um, it. it's over. But no, what happened is the there is something that's inside of you now is quickening and has mm -hmm. been made alive, your Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And so now the flesh that is always there going to constantly war against your spirit because they don't want you to do the thing that is pleasing to God. And so that's going to always be an inner struggle. So when you go back and you look at the Bible, Old Testament, mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, uh, when I just shared with you about Jacob's struggle, and uh, <laughs> Jacob's struggle was not Isaac, but Jacob's struggle uh, was, uh, was not Ishmael, but Jacob's struggle was always within himself. Mm -hmm. And of course, Isaac, if you remember uh, 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 when Isaac was born, um, before Isaac was born, it was, was it Ishmael? Yeah, Ishmael was there, and Ishmael was there by himself. Mm -hmm. Long, but the moment Isaac was born, all of a sudden there become a fight, a war. Yeah. The war take place the moment born. that you begin to be born mm -hmm. again. At first, you didn't mind. You, fornication didn't bother you. If, you. if you did it, adultery didn't bother you. Uh, heresy didn't bother you. Jealousy didn't bother mm -hmm. you. Anger didn't bother you. Bitterness, causing rival, hatred, all of that stuff didn't bother you because that's who you. That's that's your that's your flesh. But then. All of a sudden, when you when the spirit comes mm -hmm. in, of course now 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 that old flesh constantly trying to trying to keep you War. in bondage mm -hmm. because the new you mm -hmm. in, in, in the kingdom of God is is where uh, uh, God wants to bless you, mm -hmm. and of course in the midst of you are uh, 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 falling short of it. You're not you're not, and it's a difference between falling short and doing it. Mm -hmm. Because when you fall short, then that doesn't mean you can't have the kingdom of God. That mm -hmm. means you repent. Yeah. Because I have a measuring stick yeah. that this is not of God. Mm -hmm. I need to make sure I get myself in a spiritual alignment Amen. so I can walk not in the flesh, but I can walk in the, the spirit, spirit and it, it go based on who I love. The more Amen. I love God, the more I want to please God. Amen. 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 Pastor. Amen. Again, we're so grateful for, I know there's so much going on this weekend, but we're grateful for those who were able to tune in with us as we're coming to you. Again, uh, as we're on travel, we thank you all for just praying for our traveling grace. Um, and again, uh, it means uh, a lot that even as we put forth the effort to still bring um, Sunday school to you all virtually as we travel, that you felt a desire to tune in with us on this morning. We love each and every one of you all. And we certainly mean it. And y'all certainly have done something about it. We pray that y'all go out and mm -hmm. be uh, uh, be great, of yes. course. Live a life of purpose and uh, mindful that, you know what, uh, uh, if there's an inner struggle, I, I know how I can defeat that inner struggle. It simply is I got to walk in the spirit. The spirit of God is already in you. He dwells within you. Mm -hmm. You have the power, uh, not on the outside to bring about that change, but that power is on the inside. Go out and make a difference, first of all, from the inside out. Amen. God and bless y'all. Enjoy y'all Sunday service on yes. tomorrow, please. Uh, we have lax it being um, uh, Black History 365, but go out and just uh, praise God. Give him the highest praise and fellowship one to another, even in our absence. Praise Be the Lord. there. Know that I am refreshed. I'm revived, I'm re-energized, I'm restored. I feel so much better just for a getaway. Uh, we are at a, a convention and learning a lot and um, I've just been blessed. So looking forward to where God is gonna take us the next several months. Let us pray. God, we love and honor you. We give you glory and praise. Another wonderful Sunday school uh, on yes, Saturday sir. and Sunday school on the oh, go. God, yes, we thank, thank you for the you, Lord. Thank technology, you. Yes. Lord God, that we can still do God uh, 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 the work, Lord God, that has been assigned to us. I pray, Father, that this Sunday school has been a blessing not only to the listeners, but God knows who will listen to it thereafter. I pray, Father, that you continue to, to help us even as we deal with this oh, yes. inner struggle, Lord God, the struggle that's not on the outside, but the struggle that's on the inside of us. And God, we know that you can't heal what has not been revealed. Lord God, if we're walking in areas that are not pleasing to you, we ask God for the Holy Spirit, who is our helper to assist us. Jesus to be able to crucify the flesh, Lord God, so that it don't crucify us, so that we can walk in the spirit, so that we can begin to manifest the fruits of the, the fruit of the spirit. God, we thank you again for all you've done, all you're doing, all you continue to do. We thank you for the victory that we got, that you've given us through Christ Jesus, because you and you alone are our strength, our redeemer, our savior, and our Lord. To God be the glory. And glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Y'all go forward and be blessed. Love you all. You have to y'all have a great rest of the week and next week. Thank you, sis patience, Juju as well. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you for being a willing participant this morning. No problem. I, it's so weird. I, I was kind of embarrassed.
because I'm like, I'm I'm that weird person who carried around a dictionary in their purse and do a word of the day every every day. And I'm like, I've never even seen this word before. <laughs> so just, you know, we eat something new every day. And so that's welcome. <laughs> Oh yeah, praise the Lord. But we don't, and that's one thing, we don't know it all. We ain't gonna ever yeah. know it all. Mm -hmm. We can live a life and we will never ever know it all. Amen. Absolutely. I, I literally do learn something new every day. I love it too. So yeah. <laughs> we all have a good one. I'm gonna you too. Be blessed. Thank you. Have a good one. Have a good one. Hey mother, okay, good to see you. Back. You. Okay, back in action. Yeah. Awesome. Was able to, was able to get on this morning. Hallelujah. You was intentional. <laughs> yeah. Love you. Be blessed. Love you too. Love y'all too. God bless you, my love. Love you. Love you. God bless you.